Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. So this is a pick a card reading for this is a message from your ascendant master. So I have been seeing three, so many threes a lot, and three is a number for the Holy Trinity. Um mind, body, spirit, mind, body, soul, um spirit, soul, body. However, you know the Holy Trinity to be because I've heard it being said in so many types of forms. So, um, also, three is the number for the Ascended Masters. So, I don't know, of course, which one you're most familiar with, but I'm most familiar with the Ascended Master Yeshua because I grew up in Christianity. So, moving from Christianity to a um to no religion at all i don't consider consider myself of any religion i got to know yeshua um in christianity and now i'm getting to know him as one of my ascended masters so that's who i am more most familiar with but i do know that there's more than one um ascended master here with me right now and they are coming in to give you guys some messages about your next move. So, when it comes to Ascending Masters, um, they are not angels. They don't, even though they can protect you in a way, they don't just protect you from harm like angels or archangels do. They are there to guide you and to give you wisdom. And um, I've been trying to do this for the last couple of days, you guys. So, um... The thing is, so much just have been have been coming at me, and today I was just like, "Let me! I have to do this because I really feel like that this is a message for people." So, um, if you've been seeing threes a lot, like I was saying, three is a number for ascended masters, and I just been seeing threes everywhere: three thirteen, three o three, three three three, you know, thirty three, just eight thirty three, nine thirty three, seven thirty three. You know, so if you've been seeing threes everywhere, then this message is especially for you. If not, then you can still listen to this message, okay? So you can be led to a card. There's six cards here. Or you can be led to a crystal. Okay, and you guys know who've been uh, following my videos for a while. I don't do the typical one two three four five six anymore because I, i'm always trying to work on intuition and you guys um not becoming repetitive and listen to the same numbers but in this case i am going to just do the typical one two three four five six so so these are your cards card one card two card three card four card five and card six okay so this is a soda light soda light so you guys already know if i don't pronounce the crystals right you know what i mean so this is an aragonite a tumbled aragonite this is a um botswana agate what is this lapidia light this is a carnelian you know when i was got this i was told this was another botswana um agate which i guess it could be but i'm just considering this a carnelian agate because that's how it that's how it expresses itself to me as another carnelian okay and i've seen on other videos with this one in there and this they call it carnelian i just really feel like it's a carnelian and what is this okay so this you guys okay don't pay any attention to my nails you, they need to be done again so this is an uh what is this ammonite this is an ammonite 
So, uh, I don't think I've ever had this in my videos before, but this is um, a fossil. So, I'm going to put that here. So, be led to a card, 1 through 6, or a crystal. And we're going to see what is your message for... Oh, did I say this? This is like your next move, or um, it doesn't have to be a physical move. It could just be just your next move in life, or something like that. So, I'm not too sure what I'm going to name this video. So, be led to a card. Pause the video if you need more time. And I'm going to continue to go. Those of you who was led to this, to number one of this soda light here. This is your card. Healing. Okay, so your Ascendant Masters want you to know that this is your next move. It's to focus on where you are going in life. And it seems as if some of you should be going more into healing of some sort. And um, now I cannot remember the person that asked me. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was. But they asked me, did healing involve something? And I forgot what it was. But if you are making someone's day, if you are putting a smile on their face, if you are taking any type of negativity off of them and replacing it with positivity, then you are a healer, okay? So this is what the Ascended Masters want you to focus on. It seems as if this is the direction that you need to be going into. So however you are supposed to be doing that, your Ascended Masters are saying that they're going to help you with that. And they're going to give you the wisdom to know exactly um, which form of healing that you are supposed to go, go to. I feel like this is just confirmation for a lot of you. And I think that um, some of you already know which form of healing that you're supposed to be doing. So they don't want you to get to stop, um, to get off of your path and go to, go towards the wrong way. Like if you're will, if you're wondering, okay, so what do I need to do next? This is just saying, focus on your light work, and it is some sort of healing. Okay, so. You know, guys, sometimes we can't help other people until we help ourselves. So, there, is, there are some type of um, healing that you will need also. So, so, this is a general reading, meaning, you know, a lot of people are reading this. Find out what specific healing it is for you. So, some of you guys sit down and do third eye meditation meditations do crown chakra meditations i'm even hearing for some of you do heart um meditations try to find guided meditations if you don't really know how to do that so spirit can show you exactly the healing that you need to be doing and the healing that you need to be that needs to take place of yourself first so those of you who are led to card two or this tumbled aragonite Those of you who were led to that tumble aragonite, I remember when I was um, activating it, that tumble aragonite, I think I recall asking it to help me become more organized and release a lot of um, mentally organized and release a lot of things that are no longer serving me. And if you were led to this card, it's, I mean, the thing is, you came to this video because you want to know your next move, what you should do. And for the ones who are specifically led to this card, your Ascendant Masters are saying there is, there is um, multiple directions that you're trying to go into. And in this case, they're not just going to tell, they're not going to tell you which direction you should go in it seems it seems as if you've piled all these things on you um without any direction from them it seems as if they were helping you and then you just stopped listening and you just started to do things yourself and now you're confused and you have all this stuff piled up on you 
and it's like mentally draining now so you came to this video to see which way you, sh you should go and they're telling you now this is your decision you decide you have a lot of you're juggling so much you have to decide because we have free will you guys and sometimes we just want people to tell us something and it's funny because i was like well you guys like talking to the ascended masters i was like that's what they came here for okay but you put all this stuff on yourself so you have to take this stuff off it's just funny because sometimes we're being guided i've been through this also um trying to be guided by my spiritual team and they tell me something and then i go and do something else so I'm just, and then you know i'm just looking at um i don't think i've never been led to this when i'm looking at these cards how many has um the lord ganesha has has and it seems like you're just juggling so much okay so you take this off whatever all this is and i found i feel like this is a lot of um mental like a lot of mental anxiety you have like a lot is just on your mind that you built up you built this up because you've become confused you've went to this source you went to another source you went to too many sources and you were asking some of the same questions over and over again maybe in some of these videos and i also hear to different people you keep getting the same advice from different people now you are confused i don't feel like they want to just help you out anymore right now when it comes to this decision that you have to do you have to take some of this stuff off you see all those arms you don't have that many arms no you have to take some of this stuff off you sit down and say you know what i'm gonna take this off i'm gonna take this off i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep that but i'm gonna take this off and however and i feel like I feel like the ascended masters are saying majority of this stuff you need to let go and it's just I just see a lot of mental anguish you know over the situation and you you've, you've just kind of let it pile up and it comes from I feel like it's just coming from you've gotten too many opinions and some of the opinions that you got you you're you're feeling like is right but some of them was wrong um i feel like um yeah basically that's it some of those opinions you got just was was not right and now you're confused but you guys this is what happens i said this in, in the videos before and you keep going to video after video and then like you'll pick a number and not just videos i feel like you're doing this with people too and you're telling them stuff and then when they tell you something back and it sounds like spirit is speaking through them like you you can still get confused because you've just went try to attempt to go to spirit so many times and and the center masters are telling you no one is there when you go to this video and i'm hearing this this clearly when you go to these videos and you think you're picking certain cards no one is there they're not there and they're not helping you right now this is something that you must undo yourself okay so you guys let me tell you a story i've been there before because i was so concerned about a certain situation in my life that i just really wanted to find out the answer and i ended up just getting myself so confused because i was asking people and then the thing is i kept hearing that in readings i would hear make your own decisions that's what i that's what i would hear so what i did was i just sat down and i did what was best for myself and whether I made the right move on some decisions, I know I didn't. I don't know. But I know that that's what got me back on track by just doing what was best for me. And then the next time I started to go to like videos like this or ask people, I can actually dissect, you know, which parts are for me and which parts are not for me. And that's another thing we got to remember, you guys. Sometimes when people are talking to us and even when we're on videos like this, they're general readings. So everything in that reading or whatever card you pick is not going to be for for you you have to take what's for you and leave the part that's not for you okay so 
those of you who were led to car three or their boss wanna act it. Those of you who were led to car three, energetic movement. That's what this card says. It's number five. Hmm. Do you guys know? Have some of you guys been seeing fives a lot? Five is the number for change from things that are moving. And um, but what I'm getting is a lack of movement from this card. I feel like some of you um have been going to spirit and um praying about your next move, this situation, and it seems as if um I just hear the Ascended Master saying, we're leaving you. Um, you're procrastinating a lot. And they're trying to tell you to keep up with us. And when they're ready to move, you're not ready to move. So I'm hearing this message pretty strongly. I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> and I didn't pick that card. I didn't pick any cards. But that sounds like I'm talking to myself. And this, but the ascended masters are saying that they're leaving you. Meaning, um, when they're trying to move forward and they're trying to progress your life, they can't really do this because you are just procrastinating too much. And you know where this comes from? This is fear. And you have to snap out of this. Like I was telling you guys, it's. I go through this a lot, okay? So, um, I tend to procrastinate. As a Taurus, Taurus is procrastinating anyways. But you guys, I'm feeling like this is coming from, this is more so of a fear thing. You're trying to go to the next level. And that's why you're at this video, because you came to see what is your next move or how do you get there. Ascended Masters are saying, listen to us and listen to all the synchronicities, synchronicities that we're telling you. The thing is, you're listening. You're listening. You're trying to listen. The thing is, you are actually hearing which way to go you're just not moving fast enough so keep up with them okay when they move you move right then you guys i've been hearing so much procrastination is the devil i just been hearing that do you know how many blessings you can lose out on procrastinating i do because i've been there before oh my gosh i can't tell you guys how many times i've procrastinated and i've missed out on something so don't let them just um get ahead of you when they're there to work with you and stand by your side okay it's actually a blessing that your spiritual team has your back like that and they want you to succeed the thing is you have great things ahead of you okay i'm really feeling like you have something really good coming okay so they're not gonna leave you just keep in <laughs> just as long as you keep up with them okay you know exactly this thing is you know exactly what you should do and you're on this video like what you sh what should you do okay just keep up stop procrastinating that's what you should do okay so those of you who are led to this lapidolite or card four Okay, this is what I'm getting. You guys came to, to this video to see what your next move is. And you picked a card concerning your next move. And the thing is, you just kind of came to the video to see what your next move is. You don't really have anything in mind. So you just want to see what spirit has to say. What spirit is saying, what is your next move. Because you're feeling kind of stagnant. So you don't really have anything in mind. You just want to see what spirit has to say. Which is cool. So, stay. <laughs> So, your ascended masters is saying they want you to trust them more. So, when it comes to your next move and what you should do, certain things are just not meant to be revealed in certain seasons. And they are just saying trust them more. Go inside. Go internally. And um, just listen to them. Listen to the synchronicities that they're showing you. Your ascended masters are sending you synchronicities, you guys. I'm looking at that number 17. Um, 
1 plus 7 equals 8. 8 usually has to do with finances. So some of you guys are actually concerned about your finances. And you're sending messages saying don't worry about that. And right now I'm, I'm actually picking up that your finances will get better very soon. And pretty much that is your message. I feel like you're going in the right direction. You might not know it. But you are going in the right direction. So the only thing that you need to do is just trust and have faith in your spiritual team. Because they have your back. And they want you to do good. Which is such a blessing. You have such um, a great support system behind you. The thing is we look for support systems in man, in human, in our family. But if we don't have that, then you know what? Our support system are our spiritual team, our spiritual guys. And, you know, what a blessing, you know. What, who can ask for a better support system than our spiritual guys and our spiritual team, our ancestors, whoever you call upon. So, that is your message. All of you who were led to Cara 4 or the um, Carnelian. Okay, did I say car 4? Because this is car 5. Those of you who are led to car 5, this is your next move. Okay, so I'm getting two messages because when I see this car, sometimes I see, I feel like, um, for the majority of the time, this is saying, take care of yourself. So this is, um, most of the time it's not literal, like um, the mother is taking care of the child, but in this case it is so. But for, um, but for a group of you, this is really saying, so you'll know, because you, it will resonate with you, so you'll know what I'm saying. So for a group of you, um, this is more so you treating yourself like a mother would treat their child. I feel like you are doing too much. I say that in a lot of my readings. And um, so some of you guys probably are always drawn to this card because the people who do too much usually we have a hard time not doing too much <laughs> so probably why you're continuing to get this message you're doing too much and you need to take uh, better care of yourself like just take some time out for yourself and get you some rest that's what your next move needs to be before you are you're focusing on your next move already when you need to be resting you know your next move is there it will be there and you feel like you just can't wait you don't have time to wait but you have to take this rest for yourself okay take a couple of days off you know we don't want you to just get um you we don't want you to get what's the word burnt out i've been through that before you don't want to go through that okay and then um for another group of you this is basically saying some of you um something about your children you should just have you kind of have to I don't know if there's just something coming, something that you need to watch out for, but some type of way, look after your children more often. Um, I know I get this message sometimes because I have a toddler, and you know how it is with toddlers. So, and I think it's great when spirits can come in and tell you to, you know, just watch out for certain things. Because when it comes to toddlers, you just never know. And sometimes we just have to keep an extra eye on them as if, as if we're not already, you know, like <laughs> going crazy trying to watch them as it is because they're toddlers. But keep an extra eye on them um i feel like someone's child is actually needing more nurture and more care and more um just more of that um just more nurturing someone child does need more nurturing and we can get so busy sometimes that we feel like hey they're there all the time so how much more nurturing can we give them just sometimes we have to just sit down and be reminded to spend more time with our children and making them feel more nurtured and cared about you know so um it's just like it's it's like you know it's a part of life no one is perfect this happens to all of us because we get so busy sometimes so that is your message for card five from this and the master so um those of you who were led to this ammonite or um car six this is your message for the ascendant masters 
This is your card, personal transformation. One of my favorites. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so spirit is about to take you kind of what it's saying, like on this spiritual journey. Um, your ascended masters are with you, and they are trying to get you to basically transform, like the card says. So this is another level spiritually that they're trying to take you that they want to take you that you have to go this is concerning your light work so i feel like some of you should do some third eye meditations if you don't know how how then you know you can get on youtube and like look at the guided ones but i feel like some of you really need to be doing some third eye meditations there's this big change that's about to happen for you You're going to have to be, be prepared for this. So they're trying to prepare you mentally and physically. There's this big move coming. What is your next move? Your next move is to prepare yourself mentally. Through meditations, they're going to show you. Calling your ascended master sex for wisdom. Because they're going to just, they want to just actually make you wise. Because this next level that you're about to go on, I feel like this is business. You're about to be this um you're about to be this um uh, business woman or this business man and um you're gonna have to be really strong and resilient okay so that's why they're about to take you on this spiritual journey to actually get you ready for that for your next move in life so what is your next move is to actually sit down and do some third eye meditations, okay? Because they're going to reveal to you. So when you do those third eye meditations, your third eye. Oh, you know what, you guys? Look what I just um, became aware of. The fact that his third eye, where the third eye chakra is, is located at, how that is shining. <laughs> it's so... um. To me, this confirmation that you need to do some third eye meditation. That's basically your message. When it comes to your next move, sit down and do some third eye meditations, okay? Because that's going to awaken you to more to certain things. I feel like some of you are going to become more awake to some things of this world. You're going to become more awake to certain people around you, certain situations around you. Because where you are going, I just see you being big, okay? You're just you're gonna be you're gonna be big and you're you're about to have a lot of money. Spirit is conditioning you for this next step. Your next step is something serious okay thing is you're about to go from small town girl to like <laughs> big city um business woman or man you're about to do this so the thing is you know that you're about to come up on this that's why you're here you need to know your next move okay the only thing you need to do is sit down and do some third eye meditations because spirit is about to show you um, it's about to show you exactly what they want you to do. They're going to, they're about to strengthen you and just awaken you to all types of things because you're going to have to know this once you start to get into the world of celebrity. And that's what I'm getting, uh, of even just being more known in your town then you, it's just, it's going to be these high level of negative entities around you okay and you're gonna have to know how to deal with that so um you know what you guys i'm wondering should i tell this story or not i just i was looking at a video of a lady who had so much knowledge and um but she said she was 25 but she had so much knowledge i know the lady is older now and she was just saying all this stuff very ignorantly and I, I could just tell and I guess it was the psychic in me I could tell she was like um I used to hear a pastor a long time ago he used to talk about a child with a loaded gun that's when you have this gift and it's not conditioned yet I am not talking to the people on here because the people who have picked this car most of you are conditioned with your gift okay so that is not what I'm saying but you 
but I'm using this example for the simple purpose of I saw how she was not ready to say some of the things that she is, that she's saying. Okay, so you guys are ready. Only thing they're trying to do now is build your mental strength and build your physical strength. And they are going to just show you some more things of, this, of the world, okay? Because you have to be ready for this big position you're going to be in, okay? So that is all, you guys. And um, please let me know down in the comments how well this resonated with you, if it did at all. <laughs> and continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. Bye.